Hi, I hope you're all doing well. I've been looking through all of my questions and I'm going to try to answer them in video because I know that if one person has that question, then a lot of you do. One of the most common questions that I've been getting this week is how do you use Boom Cards through Google Classroom? There are actually two ways and I'm going to show you the two ways that you can assign those Boom Decks through Google Classroom. So watch my screen. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can do this. Once you're on your Boom, um, on the Boom website, go up to your library, and this is where you're going to see all your decks. So right next to every deck, there's this blue action button. Click on that. And first, I'm going to show you how to do the fast pin. So you want to click fast pin. And this is four letters that your kids can use when you go back to school. You can put those on a poster, on a, a table for a center, and they can use the fast pin there. But for home learning right now, this is what you need. You need this um, U UTL, UTM <laughs> code. Copy that code. And keep in mind that this is going to expire in 14 days. So if you're putting things in today, kids might not um, use it today. You have 14 days and that will expire. All right, so we have our code. So now we're going to go to our class. And this is my test class. We're going to go up to classwork. You're going to say create an assignment. And this is going to be Earth Day. I think it was digraphs. Okay. And then add the link. Then you put that link right here and say add. And now this is generating it onto Google. And once it's all set, um, you can put your instructions, play the game, right? So here it is. It's ready here. We're going to assign it. So now that's how easy it is to assign it. So let me show you from the student's perspective. What... Okay, so I've logged in under a student to show you what it's going to look like from their perspective. So this is me coming in as a student. I'm going to see, oh, my teacher did a new assignment. I'm going to click it, and <clears throat> all they need to do is just click that link, and immediately it brings them to the deck. So when you use that fast play, um, they're going to get immediately to the deck. The thing about the fast play is that you are not going to get data. If you want data in your reports, you need to do it differently. So let's go back and see how we have to do this with data, okay? So, okay, so here I am back at Boom. I'm going to go back up to my library. I'm going to go back to that action button, but this time I'm going to click hyperplay link. Okay, the last time we did fast pin, this time we're doing hyperplay link. Click that, and now you can see you have this much bigger um, link. So you're just going to copy to use the link. I'm going to copy that, and now I'm going to go back to my um, classroom. Here we are, and I'm going to do a new assignment. So I'm back here. Let me back it up a bit. I'm back to my classroom. I click on my classroom. I go to classwork. I say create. I say assignment. And this is going to be digraphs. Yep, digraphs number two. Okay. So I'm going to add again that link but this time it's a different type of link and I'm going to add that I'm going to wait for it to come through it's there and I'm going to assign now usually when you are assigned, you need to make an assignment for each student, but this they're playing on the site, so you don't. When it's boom cards, you don't. So I'm assigning that. Let's remember it was digraphs two. We're gonna go back in from the student's perspective. So let me log in as my student. <clears throat> okay, so now I've logged into Google Classroom as my student. So I'm gonna come up to my classroom. I see here that there is a new assignment. So I click that. And here it is. 
So I'm going to click it and it's going to say, is this you, Ron? Yes, that's me. So then it tells you to go ahead and play. Now the student plays the game. It's same as before, but this time what's going to happen is um, you get the data. So let's go back and see what happens from your perspective once you log back into Boom. So I'm going to show you that I am going to go back. I'm going to sign out of that person. I'm going to sign in as myself. Okay, so now I'm in my dashboard and I want to see if my students have been working. So I'm going to come up to reports and I did the Earth Day um, digraphs and I have to click my classroom and Earth Day digraphs and you can see down here, here's Ron's um, progress. So, so the the good part about doing this is a couple of extra steps for your kids because they have to log in, but the benefit is that now I do get that data. So I can look at this and I can see, okay, he's struggling here a little bit. Let's see what he's making a mistake on. Oh, he missed a TH. Uh, he missed another TH. Um, okay, he's missing a lot of THs. So now I know that this student, even though he's at home and I'm at home, I know that he needs a little bit extra practice with TH. So it's a great way for you to be able to access what your kids are doing even though you're at home and they're at home. So remember, you can either um, you can either give them the fast pin, no data, or do the hyperlink and you get data. I hope that's clear. Reach out with any questions. Okay, so it's really not that hard, right? So those two ways, keep in mind, that one, the first way is only going to give them that fast pin is only going to give them the deck and they're going to immediately see the deck and you won't get any reports. The second way with the hyperlink, you will get a report on what they do. So it's up to you to decide which one is what you want for that moment. I hope that helps. So thanks for the great questions. I hope that it helps. Keep them coming. I'll be making new um, little videos every day with the tips. Stay healthy, everybody. <sighs> Stay healthy. Bye.